Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're going to do a detailed review of a new mid-range laptop from Lenovo under the IdeaPad series, the IdeaPad Slim 5i. So this was announced uh, last month in India, and uh, this comes with the 11th Gen Intel Core i5 processor with 8 gigs of RAM, and you get uh, one TB of hard disk and 256 uh, gigabyte SSD included, and it comes with a 515.6 inch uh, display, and this is the Slim uh, series is the slim 5i so how good it is uh, and this is priced around 63,990. that's almost 64,000 rupees so you get uh, core i5 the latest generation intel core i5 intel uh, uh, xe graphics and 8 gigabyte uh, ddr4 ram and you get also ssd plus a 1 tb hard disk combination so that's uh, the basic hardware so let's go uh, deep into this and see how good it is so if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so first let's have a look at, look at the design and build quality now if you look at the design of uh, this uh, laptop we can see that uh, this is a traditional design nothing exceptional out this uh, now you can see that uh, if you look at the back panel this has a metal uh, chassis here now rest of the body looks plastic and uh, you can see that uh, there is a Lenovo branding here other than that you don't see any any sort of uh, stickers or anything uh, different now if you open the laptop you can see that uh, uh, it has a full-fledged uh, keyboard included and uh, you can see the trackpad the Lenovo branding and uh, you also get uh, the privacy button for the camera now one thing what uh, stands out here is that uh, the matte finish on uh, this uh, uh, keyboard area which actually looks really premium and it feels like uh, a thinkpad series laptop that's one of the good aspects you can see that the uh, the speaker unit is laid uh, on top of the keyboard the keyboard is a really good uh, finishing and this matte finishing on the, uh, the areas uh, here and uh, the trackpad gives it a good uh, feel altogether now the trackpad also looks pretty good uh, well laid and you can see that the bezels are also quite of minimal uh, for the price segment it is being offered so overall we feel uh, the design and build quality definitely looks good now solid build quality is what we call for this uh, because you get a matte finish on the back of the display rust all is uh, really good plastic material and it's a solid build quality the fit and finish also looks really good so design isn't something which is outstanding or extraordinary but it's a very standard design but build quality is something which we really liked because it's a well built and a solid build quality being offered on this laptop so that's the design and build quality now next let's move on to the display now this comes with a 15.6 inches uh, IPS LCD display with around 300 nits of brightness and eagle coating and around 45% NTSC color gamut. Now, if you look at the specs of the display, it may not be a very inspiring or a great display out there in terms of specs. Now, if you look at the display as well, you can see that the colors are not really vibrant or even accurate. So if you're a person who edits uh, with a lot of colors, uh, then you might not be liking this display because uh, the color gamut isn't really inspiring for the price segment around 64,000 is a price segment. So we feel that uh, the display is kind of slightly underwhelming at this price segment. Uh, the colors especially looks a bit weak now the brightness levels are definitely good for indoor usage 300 inches of brightness and if you go to the peak brightness again it looks quite okay even for multimedia experience this isn't bad but if you're a person who uh, does uh, video editing or if you want the best color accuracy then this is definitely not the display out there now otherwise the display feels quite okay now uh, viewing angles are kind of okay -ish again uh, i feel at 64,000, it may not be the best display out there lenovo could have done a slightly better in terms of the color reproduction and uh, the overall brightness levels also feel slightly underwhelming at this price segment so that's the display of the uh, lenovo ideapad slim 5i now next let's move on to the ports and connectivity so this is one area where the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim i performs really well because it comes loaded with ports and connectivity options. So let's have a look at what all it offers. So in terms of ports and connectivity, on the left side you get uh, the port for charging then USB Type-C Gen 1 port uh, which is a power delivery port and the display uh, port then uh, you get HDMI port uh, on the left side uh, along with a 3.5mm audio jack also included 
so those are the ports on the left side on the right side you get uh, two usb uh, type a port uh, this is 3.3.2 gen 1 ports there are two of them then you get a full fledged uh, sd card reader and uh, you get uh, the led indicators so in terms of ports and connectivity it is well active you get a hdmi port usb type c power delivery charging is there uh, then usb type a two of them are there even sd card is supported that's something which is quite unique uh, especially for creators you want to transfer images directly from uh, your camera that's something which is quite good so in terms of port and connectivity this is well equipped and really good in terms of uh, the connectivity options apart from that you also get a wi-fi 6 and bluetooth connectivity which is uh, which are kind of regular on most of the laptops these days now in terms of software experience this device comes uh, with windows 10 uh, pre-installed and uh, you get uh, some additional options from uh, lenovo in terms of uh, utility software now moving on to the keyboard experience and also the trackpad now keyboard is a full-fledged keyboard because it has a 15.6 inches uh, display now it's a full-fledged keyboard that's something which is really good and uh, you don't have to compromise anywhere in the keyboard experience you get a full-fledged keyboard with a number pad all the functional keys everything is included and and it works really well and even the typing experience we felt was really good and uh, the travel of the keys and everything looks really good we didn't have any sort of issues here only thing is that if you are coming from a 14 inch laptop or a rather a 13.3 inch laptop you might have to get accustomed with a large keyboard layout but that's again not a major issue because many of you might have already used 15.6 inch laptops so uh, you get a full-fledged keyboard and even the trackpad experience was really good something which uh, we don't see at this price segment most of the budget or mid-range laptops uh, compromise on uh, uh, the trackpad experience here we felt that the trackpad was more or less accurate and the 64 uh, or 65,000 price segment this is definitely a good experience in terms of the trackpad as well as the keyboard layout and everything looks really good so in terms of keyboard experience you also get the backlit keyboard uh, you can actually change the lighting on the backlit uh, there are three modes one is you can turn it off then there are two other mode, additional modes so you can customize it that's something which is pretty good provided by lenovo on the idea pad 5i so moving on to the performance so this laptop the idea pad slim 5i is powered by the latest generation that's 11 gen core i5 1135g7 uh, processor and uh, this is uh, clocked at 2.4 gigahertz on top of that you get 8 gigs of ddr4 ram this is a soldered ram so make sure if you want to upgrade the ram go it at uh, when you buy it because uh, once you buy it you cannot upgrade this is soldered ram so you get 8 gigabyte ram that's the one we had on our laptop and you get 256 gb of ssd for windows uh, so windows is installed on the ssd so you do get a really good performance and apart from that you get a 1 tb of hard disk so it's a combo uh, drive here so uh, 1 tb of uh, regular hard disk for storing your files and ssd that's a 256 G uh, gigabyte ssd for your windows usage and for graphics you get the iris xe intel graphics that's the uh, the uh, integrated graphics available and apart from that uh, the top end models you do get uh, the nvidia mx uh, graphics card but the one we uh, reviewed did not have it had the intel iris xe graphics now talking about the performance in day-to-day -day performance uh, it's quite good uh, for regular work like uh, uh, editing email browsing casual work related apps so you don't see any sort of issues here now uh, we tried editing uh, a 1080p video with this and it was kind of good actually we didn't see any sort of throttling issues or uh, any major heating issues here uh, for 1080p editing it is definitely a decent performer uh, if not the best again uh, you might not get a very high performance because there is no dedicated graphics card included apart from that this is definitely not a uh, laptop for gamers but for casual work related purpose this uh, definitely holds really good uh, value because you do get a uh, decent experience uh, no lags uh, and even as a multimedia laptop this is definitely good so in terms of day-to-day -day experience uh, it is a good uh, laptop uh, especially for students and office goers who, who do a lot of work uh, uh, kind of apps like uh, word excel powerpoint presentations and uh, casual uh, emails uh, browsing multimedia experience all those things it did perform really well and even for even we tried adobe, adobe photoshop with this and uh, uh, it was kind of uh, definitely working out there without any sort of uh, uh, issues and even editing as i said before it did work quite well but if you're looking for a primary editing uh, work this may not be the one i would recommend but again if you're on a tight budget this definitely works decently well for a 1080p video editing as well 
Now here are some of the performance benchmarks uh, we tried with the Geekbench and the read write speeds uh, we tried. They are not really exceptional out there uh, for the 65k price segment but again uh, we wouldn't complain since it's uh, more or less expected at this price segment. Now moving on to the speaker quality, there is there is uh, two what uh, speakers available, the two of them are included. Now the speaker output is in the, uh, something which uh, we would uh, say it's good because it was kind of underwhelming performance, especially if you are uh, 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 getting this laptop for multimedia experience, watching movies or listening to music. The music uh, sound output wasn't something which was really great. It is kind of underwhelming experience and uh, here is a sample audio which we took uh, uh, from the laptop. Now a couple of things uh, if you're looking for a great uh, movie watching we would suggest you to use a headphones or get an external speaker or a bluetooth speaker because uh, the sound output was kind of average at its best so here it's a sample performance uh, test of the sound quality Now moving on to the battery life. So this device comes with a 57 watt hour 3 cell battery and the claimed battery life is around 11 hours. Now there is also 65 watt uh, fast charging included which can charge your laptop uh, pretty fast. Uh, that's something which is uh, available here. Now the bundle charger is not a type C charger but you do get a USB type C power delivery port. So you, if you have a 65 watt hour charger or other 65 watt charger. Uh, you can actually fast charge uh, with the USB Type-C port as well because it supports power delivery. Now uh, the battery life, it is claimed a battery life of around 11 hours. Now in reality you may not get 11 hours but with casual work like uh, browsing, media, uh, content consumption, then editing with uh, a bit of videos. We got around 8 hours of battery life which we feel is a really good package at this price segment. 8 hours is definitely good. You can get almost like a day of battery life if you are not working continuously or if you are not doing heavy tasks, 8 hours is definitely a decent performance. So battery life is definitely good on this and on top of that you do get fast charging included. So now summing up, how good is the Lenovo IdeaPad uh, uh, 5i or rather the slim 5i for 64,000 price segment that's the base variant uh, pricing now uh, with uh, the Lenovo uh, IdeaPad slim 5i you get a decent processor uh, the uh, core i5 which is which performs pretty well you get 8 gigabyte ram and for windows uh, you do get 256 gigabyte ssd and if you want to store large file there is also 1 tb of uh, hard disk then uh, uh, solid build quality, uh, keyboard experience is good, trackpad is again good, battery life is also stellar. So these are the pros of the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 5i. Now coming to the cons, one of the biggest cons is the display. The color gamut and the color accuracy is not that great and apart from that uh, uh, the overall performance side might not be the best out there because uh, at 65,000 price segment you are entering the gaming segment because at 70k price segment uh, you do get uh, uh, some entry level gaming laptop so if you want more power out of uh, the uh, device IdeaPad Slim 5i may not be the best out there but you do get a decent uh, build quality now IdeaPad Slim 5i although it's slim it may not be the slimmest laptop out there uh, it's around uh, 1.7 kilograms it again might not be the lightest out there because uh, if you compare with uh, the gaming laptops which are, uh, are about 2.5 kilograms then uh, this makes sense but uh, 65,000 uh, Lenovo is entering uh, or other uh, uh, the segment where you get uh, entry level gaming laptop so you might have to take a call on whether you want a, a slightly slimmer laptop or lighter laptop compared with uh, the gaming laptops at this price segment uh, then the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim, Slim 5i makes sense so these are the pros and cons so uh, the display is something which we feel uh, is not that great it should have been better at least at 65,000 price segment so if you are a student or uh, uh, um, uh, if you want an office uh, laptop with the basic editing options uh, and decent performance good battery life then the IdeaPad uh, 5i or rather the IdeaPad Slim 5i makes sense but if you want more power uh, out of uh, your laptop then you should be looking at the entry level gaming laptop where you do get uh, 
the basic uh, uh, additional graphic option here you don't get that option or you might have to upgrade to higher variants uh, which is available with uh, the idea pad as well now even at 65000 price segment our variant did not come with a fingerprint scanner that's something which uh, is missing on this laptop uh, maybe uh, it is available at a higher uh, very higher price variance that's what the company uh, says in the press releases so we our laptop did not have the uh, fingerprint scanner that's another thing which is missing on this laptop so that was a detailed uh, review along with the pros and cons of the lenovo idea pad slim 5i hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day